All right, I'm going to uh, sculpt a buffalo skull to scale. I went online last night and found a few pictures of buffalo skulls. The um, width of the skull would be something like about a shoulder width of a human, man, male, whatever. And uh, this is a really old skull here. Um, you can still find parts of buffalo skulls on the uh, flat country here in Ennis. Um, because this all was native uh, hunting grounds back 200 years ago. And so they came here to get their food uh, supply for winter. And uh, there were all the tribes that come together, the uh, Arikara, the Nez Perce, the uh, Lakota, the Mand, and it's all of them because it was great hunting ground. And it was just covered in buffalo at one time. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try that uh, and then replace the uh, skull I did yesterday on the base because I like the idea. All right, time to get started. Time to play with some clay. If you have any questions, I try to answer them. I'm the only one here right now. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> you get an RV, so my art rules has changed. Yeah. I used to collect a lot more than the walls for him. Right. Really big. Now I have to buy small stuff. So. Good afternoon. Yeah. Or morning. You're welcome to come in with the dog. All right, I'm just uh, trying to sketch in the buffalo skull. I got uh, interrupted by a gentleman who came in who uh, used to own a big antique store back in California. And one of his major clients was uh, Michael Jackson. And uh, he's met a lot of very famous people and it was great talking to them and uh, fascinating to hear his stories that's the nice thing about uh, being in a gallery you get to meet interesting people anyway I'm just uh, I'm going to re-sculpt this buffalo skull a little bit better and hopefully it'll look like a buffalo skull when I get done. Okay, okay i got to figure out a way of getting this skull into the base. Yeah, I've got to you got a hole for it, I think. Hello there. Hi. How are you? Good. Hello. Hello. 
I got the uh, buffalo skull placed. Now I just have to uh, make it look like it's part of the base. And we already had a contract. It was, it was, they have quite a sense of humor. Well, you're the first potato grower I've ever met. Well, it was, and it was great too. It was just great. All at the same time. Had a wonderful time. Yeah, my uncle uh had a farm up in uh, colville utah kids don't today kids don't get a chance to go to a farm i think it i think a lot of it for me was god you work the ground and you planted them and you irrigated them and take care of them and then, and then you put the harvester in there and you dig something up and you really made something yeah you had a product. I've had jobs, you come home with a paycheck, and it ain't the same. No. Well, it's like this. It ain't the same. It's like this. I take thin air and put something in it that yes. never was. Yes. That's what this is. Yeah. And you create it. And hopefully other people like it, you know. Yeah. And oh, potatoes the same Hopefully. Thing. Well, potatoes the same way. Yeah. Same old thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We had a great time. We had a great And we got run into the spud trucks. Once in a while an arm getting something and get ripped off. Oh yeah, we did it all. Yeah. We did it all. Well, there are a lot of farmers that had fingers missing. A lot of cowboys with fingers and toes missing. Yeah, I still got the end of my thumb. That comes off pretty easy with a rope on the sidewalk. <laughs> Oh yeah. It comes off pretty easy. Yeah, it do. I wouldn't think it would, but it does. Where's the rest of them? I have no idea where they're going. Huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that buffalo skull looks like it's coming out of the grass. Yeah. I think that buffalo skull adds something to it. We're going to be, tomorrow's going to be the last day of the show, so I'll be taking down everything next week and getting back in the studio. It'd be nice to get into a controlled atmosphere once again. I'm going to put a split in his nose, bone, nasal bone, or what do you want to call it?
Well, that's going to do it for today. I'm going to uh, pack up some of my stuff so I don't have to pack all that much uh, next week. Um, I'm going to leave my clays here. I'll be here tomorrow, but I'm not going to be sculpting very much because, well, maybe I'll do something else tomorrow. Hmm, that's an idea. I got a small board right here. I can do a, a bust or something. Yeah, I'll decide to do that tomorrow. I got some changes I want to make on uh, Jim Bridger. Uh, but I'm going to do that when I'm home and I can concentrate on it a little more closely and also adjust the height of my turntable. I can't do that here. And uh, I got an idea of repositioning one of his arms and uh, having it hold the butt of the rifle a little bit better at the uh, narrow part of the rifle stock. But that's just what I'm thinking right now. Um, anyway, it's been fun being here. I, I did sell one bronze. It was a, a good size bronze and it's now on order and I'm so happy about that because that, uh, helps, helps a lot. All right, everybody have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.